Today I am getting paid to travel in first class. I hope. Hey guys and welcome back to another video. I am in Santiago, Chile. That's right, I'm in Chile. I've never been here before. Check out this amazing view. How gorgeous is that? You got tall buildings, you got mountains, and you got a pool. It is summer here. It's like 80 degrees right now, but at night it does get chilly. It's like the perfect combination of both worlds. Now the reason that I say I'm getting paid to travel in business class, and I hope, is because I'm actually deadheading tonight. I am here working, obviously, but tonight we get to dead at home. Now, for those of you who don't know, deadheading is when you're getting paid to travel by the airline to get you back to base or to get you to wherever they need, they pay you to travel and to get there. So yesterday I worked the flight here to Santiago. It was about a seven and a half hour flight and then we get to lay over here. It's about a 30 hour layover. And then tonight we get to deadhead back home, which is pretty amazing. Um, I'm on the list to be upgraded to business class right now. It's looking pretty good, but keeping my fingers crossed because last minute, anything can happen. But first we're heading out to get some lunch. I am with one of my crewmates slash oldest friends. <laughs> We, have, we know each other from back in the JetBlue days. And now we're here in the same airline again. We're heading out, we're gonna go get some lunch. So we're, we're both on the upgrade list tonight. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we both get on to business class. Are you excited about business class? Extremely excited. Greg has brought us a Chicken International. It is a chicken spot. How'd you find this place? Uh, TripAdvisor. TripAdvisor? The food has arrived, so I got a kimchi burger actually. So even though the place is called Chicken International, I got a burger and fries. What'd you get? Uh, chicken parmesan, very American. Chicken parmesan with, <laughs> with yellow cheese? I've never seen that before. All right, enjoy. All right, we're back in the hotel room. My lunch was not that good. I don't know what I was thinking getting beef at a chicken place. I probably should have just stuck to the chicken, but um, that was a very dumb decision on my part. So yeah, I did not have a very good lunch, but it's okay. I'll be having dinner later tonight on the plane. Also, something super interesting is that that building right there, which is right outside of my window, is actually the tallest building in all of South America. It's called the Gran Torre de Santiago, and it's actually 980 feet tall or 300 meters. That's a fun fact. I did not know that, that I have been staring at the tallest building in all of South America since yesterday. Also, again, to reiterate what's going on is the company, my airline, needed me and my crew to work the flight from Miami to Santiago, Chile. They don't need us to work the flight back. They have a crew here to work the flight back. Now they're just getting us back to our base and they are putting us on the flight as confirmed passengers just to get us back to our base. So that is basically what deadheading is. I don't know. I didn't know if I explained it good enough earlier. I know a lot of you already know what that is, but to those of you who don't know, basically we are not working the flight. We are just getting back to our home base, which is Miami. Also, can I just say this is like the largest bed that I have ever slept in and had all to myself. Also, look at this amazing view that I have from my room. Like, wow. Also, you guys are probably wondering why I am in my uniform if I'm not working the flight. Basically, we need to have our uniforms on to be able to go through airport security and bring all of our stuff with us. So we have to be in uniform just to get to the airplane. But once we get onto the airplane, we are allowed to change back into normal clothes. All right, we have made it to the airport. Good news is we got our business class upgrade. So now we're just gonna go to the pharmacy, get him some medicine. Are you feeling sick? I just have a little cold. A little Stuff cold? Up. At least you'll be able to rest because you'll be in your business class seat, huh? A few moments later. All right, finally walking onto the flight. All right, it's now time to change my clothes. Oh, that was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. <laughs> wow, you guys, you guys change faster than me. So I'm finally here in my seat. Greg is right across from me. And this over here is Valentina. She's Italian. Say Italiana. And this is Marilia. Hi. To the bank. <laughs> All right, so we have our business class 
menu, which we will check out in just a little while. Also, we have our amenity kit, which is right in there. I'll open that in a little while as well. And then, of course, our pillow and blanket, which I will not be using just yet, so I'm gonna stick that under there. And then right here, we have our premium cabin headphones, so I'll take those out right now. Get those there. We have our big screen TV, so we'll just hit English. All right, let's see. What am I going to get? We have a beef bourguignon, honey, soy roasted chicken breast, grilled white fish fillet, leek and onion risotto. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. You guys will see what I get later on in this video. Now for dessert, cookie crumble ice cream. Okay, done. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> and then we have the breakfast options, a four cheese quiche or a seasonal fruit plate. I might not have breakfast, so we're landing at 4 a.m. All right, so let's check out this amenity kit, shall we? So, we have a pen. We have a, oh, I love this lotion right here. Chapstick, a sleeping mask, which I probably will not be using because I don't really care for having stuff on my face while I sleep. <laughs> Toothpaste, toothbrush, mouthwash, tissues, earplugs, some comfy socks. So I just posted this awesome picture to my Instagram. And the good thing about my seat is that I have clear access right to the lavatory and to the aisle. Show you guys i also got ice cream with cookie crumbles i totally forgot to show you guys this and i already started eating it i'm also watching a movie at the same time to get the fruit plate it comes with some yogurt some breakfast bread fruit granola good morning over there we're about one hour away from landing breakfast was good now i'm gonna try and go back to sleep we have about 30 minutes left of the flight Alright guys, it is now 3.46 in the morning Miami time and we're about to land soon. I had a really good rest. I didn't sleep much, probably because I slept so much at the hotel. Had a good meal. I'm so happy that I got to sit in a business class seat. This is not common at all. So, anyways, we'll be landing in the next few minutes. Familiarize yourself again with the location of your closest exit. We will not collect any items you wish to discard. We will be landing soon. Just landed. It is 3:53 a.m. We're here. Hi, Warren. Siamo arrivati. <laughs> We're here, everybody. We're here. All right, we made it to Miami. Now, time to go through customs. We're so tired. Are you tired, Greg? Extremely. And we are back. 4.50 a.m. heading home. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. This is something different that I've never done before. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.